Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out Got Girls on Top Step Back Dance Practice. I cannot believe that they released a dance practice for this. Did they get new staff? <laughs> I don't know how difficult of a choreography this will be based off the stage performance that I saw, but let's check it out. Let's see what intricacies we can find. Obviously the vocals popped off on this song, so let's get to it. I still really like that intro, it's just so epic, you know? Oh, wait, I missed that already, I was talking. <laughs> That's very intricate, that intro. Oh, we got some close-ups. Well, not close up, but... I do like the whole, they're facing the other way uh, from the very beginning, and then there's a sort of reveal. We don't see it often that, that we see that the performance start facing the back. Um, so there's a sort of um, mystery to what they're doing, and then that reveal becomes a little bit more of a, it's, it's more grand. That's cool, cause like one by one, they do like they do this kind of combination, and then after they finish that combination, then the two at the very end leaves. But as they leave, the ones inside the line, they do it again, the 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 combination, and then they go out, and then of, of course like the the middle people. Um, we'll keep doing it and then they go out. Uh, let me see if it's the same choreography that they just repeat. It's a little different. Yeah, it's, it's like some sort of mo modification of it. And then like we see that um, uh, Taeyeon and... <laughs> this old game. Um, <laughs> who's that? This is Winter, this is... That's Wendy. This is, uh, um, Hyoyeon. Who am I missing? Boa! <laughs> oh my god, I can't forget the queen! Seriously, Jeff, fuck! That makes sense, Taeyeon and Boa. And then Karina's in the center. Um, and then they keep, you know, they re they keep to the back, but then everybody else kind of faces back again. So there's a sort of mystery to this. <laughs> See that reveal? Oh wait, I see a little bit of that. Wendy's a little early on the... Oh no, she's not. Jeff, stop. Because I was like, pay attention, so I didn't see Karina on the other end. So I thought that she was a little early, but like, that's purposeful. My pickiness is gonna get me in trouble one day. Seriously, or it has already, but you know. <laughs> I feel like this is the first time I've seen Sogi do a dance practice video. Hey. Nice. I like those snaps. Yeah, so it's quite low, you know, like it's a simple thing, but keeping it low will help you with the body lines, with the body shapes that you're creating. If you don't go lower than the norm, this kind of leg shape is going to be a little bit harder to uh, to make prominent, to for it to kind of show up. And that's an easy fix. If you're going to do a cover to this and you want to extend that um, knee out, it's simple. Just sit down a little bit lower and then the, that line will protrude more. And then like, you know, with the, with the heads too. Like it's a simple thing, but like, look how um, they switched, right? You have the, it's kind of like a, like a pull. So you see a little bit more uh, body line and body shape to it, to the choreography, to the, to the move. And look how wide uh, Wendy is traveling to it as well, right? But like details like that matters because if you don't do the head, you know, that kind of thing, it, it will look kind of amateurish if you like just pull like that. But like, there's a difference to that, you know? And when you do that, it's kind of like the head is like, it's kind of like drag, a drag. <laughs> that 
balance. Alright, chorus! I like these these kind of details that, you know, like even with um, with just Boa kind of throwing her hands. It's so easy to just kind of go like this, right? But there's a difference between going like this and going like this. Like with Boa here. Um, I noticed it a lot on the stage performance when I was watching it. I didn't bring it up then because that wasn't really a dissection. But like for this one, you see the detail that Boa puts into the shapes of the movements. It's not just like a throw like this, which is so easy for a lot of people to do, um, as opposed to throwing it up here. Sometimes it can look, a it can feel a little bit too extra, but that's why when you when you're doing these kind of performances to, to videotape yourself, and then you can see there's a difference between how you um, perform it in person as well as when you perform it for a camera. I like that part, ta, ta, but it's, that was, you know, pretty easy to do, but it's this part that's a little harder. <laughs> I, I would try it sometimes, like, I haven't really, like, put, like, a lot of focus in it, but kind of just, like, in passing, sometimes I would, like, try it, but I'm like, hmm, this is a coordination thing, because I think that there's, like, two different things happening here. Yeah, because this part, you know, when you're going like this, it's doing something else and your feet, your legs are doing another thing, right? It's not, it's, it's going to be a coordination thing. Um, at first, it's gonna be a little bit confusing, but the more you learn it, the more you embed it in your muscle memory, the more it will show up and you, you know, it'll be more comfortable for you to do. And then you can just do it when you're at the bus, <laughs> bus stop. Yeah. Eight. Quite hip hop that round, right? Has a little bit more kind of edge to it. Mm. Ah, cute! <laughs> Eight. I like this part. So there's um, some snaps in it as well. But the transitions are cool. You know how this, and then them two kind of doing like this, and then it becomes a train. It's so cute. It's a smart transition in. Dynamics. I like this bounce. <laughs> so it's the same chorus but a different formation. Hey. Yes. Look at those like. Woo! Smooth! Love that part. It's so simple, but because it's so different, I feel like. That kind of thing. So it goes like, bah, 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 right? And then it goes, ta, 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 ta. So cool. It's smooth. That, that requires a lot of control in a way where, because it needs to be smooth, right? It needs to be effortless. So you can't have any hint of stiffness in that area. Ooh! That's a nice imagery. What the hell? What the fuck? Nice. They actually repeated some moves there with a, with, you know, with a bounce. Um, but like it's a, it's it's used in a different context. 
Hey, dance break. Could be polished a little bit more. I mean, for a dance break, of course, like, I think that this was a little bit more utilized. The way it was choreographed, I feel like it's a little bit more meant for this kind of medium. I don't think it was choreographed to the point where it was like, it's got to be a full frame. You know, you know how some like dance breaks, you need to be full frame all the time because to see it like head to toe and all the details within it. I feel like this one, it's more like the target is like here. Yeah, it was that part. Is it, is it just me or is it like the throw is just a little bit... I think there's a little something off on there. Great lines though, like that part, love that part. It's actually, that one's hard to synchronize and they nailed it because it's a shape that isn't always easy to hit. Um, because when, when you hit it, it could easily be like down here, could easily be like up, you know, it could be like, it's just, it could just be off. So it looks like that they spent a lot of time so that when you hit that, it's the same for all three girls. I feel like Hyunyun is holding it just a little longer than the other two. I feel like if that's the case, it might be meant to be. I don't know. Yeah, so that part, same thing. It looks like it's, it's, it's all muscle memory. Love the domino effect on that too, ripple effect. Hey, oh, it's all different. Nice. Obviously the killing point. Oh, love the dynamic change on that. Oh, Boa killed that part. That was amazing. Nice. It's so weird seeing them in sweats. I don't think I've ever really seen them in sweats. <laughs> Cause they don't release a lot of dance practices. Like I, I went on my Twitter and like, um, tweeted that I, I wanted to, to get to know Solgi more because, because she's an amazing dancer and I'm so late to kind of seeing that hip-hop side of her so I was like you know guys let me know like give me links right and I was just so in awe the way she hits her hip-hop moves obviously like everybody here are amazing dancers you know you got like Hyoyeon you got like Boa like these are legends right so I, I think that the complexity of the uh, of the dance moves needs to reflect obviously the song, right? I, it's not a hip hop song. It's not a heavy hitting song that would require power, huge powerful movements. I think what they did here for sure is definitely tr um, going a little bit more towards like dance challenges, like especially this part, you know, like that's a whole marketing ploy anyway um, nowadays. K-pop is definitely on it. I think that because of the popularity of TikTok and dance challenges, uh, it's a great marketing tool for a song to be put out there. Um, so I think that a lot of the companies now are going to choreographers and being like, we need a killer dance move that would be an amazing killing point that people, that it's easy enough to do for a lot of, for, for most fans, you know, um, but still elevated in a way for, for an amazing K-pop group, right? Lots of formation changes too. And I think that helps with featuring each person because, the, because these girls are all like top talent, right? Um, so it's, you kind of have to like feature everybody in a, in a, in a certain way. But SM, I truly appreciate the fact that, that you guys released this, the dance practice, cause we never really get dance practices from a lot of the girl groups in, in the company. So I hope that, you know, this keeps going. Well, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. If you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.